Illinois Senator Kofi Coburn spoke to the media this week wearing a shirt that said more than an athlete, and that message couldn't have been more clear. He lended his voice to answering questions about social injustice and racism. But for Coburn, these topics are something new for him, having moved to the United States just five years ago. Tonight on Huddle Up and Listen, he shares his perspective. Growing up in Kingston, Jamaica, Kofi Coburn says he never experienced racism. Back home growing up, like racism was not even like it wasn't even in the picture. Like I see, like I come here now and I'm like, like seeing, like seeing how, especially like the black male, like how they're treated in America, like. It's a bunch of stuff going on. Even though Coburn's experience with race was different growing up, he's now living the reality as a black man in the United States and sees the need for change. The biggest thing right now is just empathy, man. You can always put yourself in somebody else's shoes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody knows what's right from wrong, so I, I don't understand. Like, I feel like we all could agree that racism is is a nasty thing, so why doesn't everybody else feel the same way, you know what I'm saying? Those conversations are happening within the Illinois basketball program. Head coach Brad Underwood has opened up a dialogue with the team, and Coburn says his teammates from all over the world bring different perspectives. We have a totally different understanding of what's going on, and then just to listen to these guys that's been through it, you know, like, that's experienced it. Um, it's really big so we could get a bit of understanding and look at it from a different perspective. Sports have been at the forefront of the Black Lives Matter movement, with the NBA taking center stage this week. Players held a three-day boycott to protest the shooting of Jacob Blake. As a college athlete, Coburn also recognizes the power of using his platform. A lot of people gravitate towards me, a lot of people respect me, and, and a lot of people follow me, so I think that I need to use my voice. Everybody has a voice, but not everybody has that platform where they could express themselves and, and be heard. So I definitely felt I need to speak out for all those people that don't have the opportunity that I have and have the platform that I have.